my fellow developers, we're going to be losing our jobs and it's probably going to happen sooner than we expected it to happen. All thanks to AI initiatives like Devin, the first AI software engineer. So yesterday, Cognition Labs made this tweet. Today, we are excited to introduce Devin, the first AI software engineer. They're really excited to introduce Devin. Wow. If you haven't seen the tweets yet, you can go check out the account and read more of the tweet and see the different examples of things Devin can do. And also they have this blog where they also touched on Devin's capabilities and all of that stuff. In this video, I wanted to just talk about some of these AI initiatives and how they affect us as developers or how they affect our jobs. And I want to touch on three things. The first thing I want to touch on is that we really underrate these AI initiatives. Some people say things it's like oh it's not even that good it has so many limitations for me i feel like we are missing the big picture if we keep underrating these things based on what you're doing now the second thing i want to talk about is also what these ai initiatives mean for developers like you and i and also what it means for companies and then the third thing i want to talk about is maybe for you who is interested in tech or you just started learning tech or learning dev front and back end what does this also mean for you should you consider something else like dancing singing or probably going to the farm okay firstly we really underrate these ai tools there is a lot more we should be scared about than what these ai tools can do now so a few weeks ago open ai released sora sora is an ai model that can create realistic imaginative scenes from text instructions and then they showed a couple of examples here of videos and these were all generated by AI. Now, when this launched, for me, as somebody who creates videos, I felt a bit threatened. I felt like, really? The AI industry is coming for the video space now? But this is why I think people underrate this thing. When things like this drop, people often criticize the results. Like with Sora, people criticized a lot of the videos that were made. Some people said some people had six fingers, seven fingers. Some of the videos, you would see the people looking like literally looking back, which is not possible in reality, right? But these AI tools produce that as a result. But where I feel like people miss it is that this is version one. Imagine what version five or version 10 in the next couple of years is gonna look like. When you think about the softwares we use today, like Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, even React as a framework, the version one didn't have as much features as the current version. So if version one can already do something as crazy as this imagine what that would look like for version 5 or version 10 and that is why when you look at a tool or do i call this a tool or i call this an engineer but when you look at what devin can do as of now as of version one and maybe you are criticizing it by these are the limitations it cannot even do xyz by itself and all of that what you fail to realize is that this is version one version 10 of devin is probably going to be much more crazier and maybe that is when it would dawn on you that wow we are actually going to lose our jobs because some people feel like all of these ai tools they have have so many limitations right now so we are not going to lose our jobs but for me i am less worried about what the ai tools can do now and i am more worried about the potential of these ai tools especially when you think of the future now if we scroll through this devin you can see a lot of capabilities devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies Wow. Devin can build and deploy apps end to end. Okay, crazy. Now, let me show you the craziest part. We even tried giving Devin real jobs on Upwork and it could do those too. You can probably check out this video later. I don't want to check it now so I don't cry. Why would you try Devin on these things? Why should Devin be able to do this anyways you can go read up more about devin now let's talk about what this means for you as a developer and also as a company now as a developer all of these ai tools makes you more productive makes you write code faster the time you would spend going on stack overflow to search certain solutions or syntax for different things you try to achieve these ai tools can help you do that when you think of things like github copilot and all of these um, code ai initiatives as a developer it helps you be productive it helps you work 
faster but then people also bring this argument that ai is not going to replace engineers it's just going to make engineers more productive at their job i don't really agree with that ai would make developers productive at their jobs yes but now when you think about it from a company perspective a company is trying to save costs let me give you an example let's say a company needs 50 engineers to build a product now with the advancement of a lot of these ai tools and maybe even with devin now this can make those 50 engineers productive you can make them work faster right now the company can take two directions there are probably more directions but let's just look at two scenarios the first direction the company can take is that these ai tools makes the engineers more productive makes it easier for the companies to deliver product or make it faster for them to deliver product which is fine so the companies are fine with bringing all of these ai tools to work with these 50 engineers but that depends on how many products the companies want to deliver if the company has a lot of product ideas then in that sense it makes sense to keep your 50 engineers add ai to those engineers so the company has many products this product can bring more revenue to the company the company doesn't see the need to cut down cost but then another direction a company can take is oh we have 50 engineers to build our product with all of these advancements in ai all of these ai platforms maybe we don't need as much as 50 engineers anymore maybe just 40 engineers or even 30 engineers with these ai additions maybe that is enough for us and this is where I come from when I say that AI will replace engineers. Like AI may not replace every engineer. I don't believe AI will replace every engineer, but I do believe that the need for some engineers would greatly reduce the more these AI tools keep evolving. Remember again, these are still early phases, version one, version two. The more these AI tools advance, there will be less need for as many engineers as few engineers can be productive with these tools and also you see people say things like these ai tools cannot work on their own they need people to manage the tools they need developers to manage the tools they need developers to be able to you know figure out when these tools maybe produce a wrong result but what i feel people fail to realize is yes these ai tools would need engineers to manage them and ensure that the ai tools are doing what they're supposed to do but when you think about it from a company perspective that is not what a junior engineer would be doing when we talk about managing these tools those are responsibilities that the company would want to hand off to people that they can hold more accountable or people that they really trust and when it comes to trust in the context of experience we're talking about senior engineers here maybe middle engineers but more senior um, engineers so when people say that these ai tools would always still need somebody to enter the prompt to guide to review i don't think that is something that a junior engineer would be expected to do or would be trusted to do that is something that a more experienced engineer would be responsible for maybe now you also see why i do say that ai would replace engineers it's not going to replace every engineer but it will replace some engineers anyways what does this mean for you as somebody who is learning tech or you know interested in tech well first you need to to be um, aware of these realities because these AI tools are only going to get better. But what I usually advise people, I usually advise people two things. The first thing is you also have to start getting familiar with these AI tools. You also have to start improving your skills on these AI tools because AI is now being involved in a lot of platforms. And in such cases, you don't want to be left behind. You want to also be familiar with what is happening in the AI space so that we can also improve your tech skills. And hopefully that is something that can give you an advantage when looking for a job. And speaking about advantage, this is also the second advice that I give is don't just do only one thing. Don't just be working on only front-end development or back-end development. For me, for example, my major area has been on front-end, but I have also familiarized myself with the back-end. And I also make videos, I also teach, I also write articles. And for me, these are the extra advantages that I try to have so that if a company feels like, oh, we already have AI writing our articles. I can be like, does the AI make videos? If another company should be like, oh, we already have AI using Devin. I can tell the company, does Devin make educational videos like I do? I can teach in physical conferences. Can your 
AI do that. So for me, these are the extra advantages that I try to have. And it's also what I advise people to do, like have those extra advantages. I still think the tech industry is still worth it at this point. And I also do not think that AI is going to replace a lot of engineers this year and maybe not next year maybe but the point is as these tools evolve in the coming years it's really going to change the dynamics of the tech industry that is what i really believe or maybe you should start considering something else working in the farm that doesn't sound like a bad idea anymore <laughs> or singing maybe you have a career in dancing i don't know maybe it's also time to consider other career paths anyways these are my thoughts i'd love to hear what your thoughts also are in the comments if there are more career paths we can start considering or if you think that ai is not going to replace engineers i would love to hear why in the comments but just to come back a bit to this last section we even tried giving devon real jobs on upwork and it could do those too you know this actually makes me worried the creators of these tools they know the potential of these tools and now it is even part of their marketing strategy that this can replace people on upwork are they even thinking about us humans who would lose jobs because of these things 